All right, so we're going to start this session tonight with um, a glaze. We're going to glaze the shadow right here, and we're going to simplify this glaze. Um, I'm using ultramarine violet and burnt umber, and I'm making it into use show more of the ultramarine violet more than the burnt umber, and I'm going to simplify like I mentioned the and it's it's a glaze so you need to add water to this make sure that there's enough water so I like to make sure that the glaze I'm using is not too thick and if it's not enough by the time I'm done I can easily wait for it to dry and it's if it's not dark enough what I I mean is if it's not dark enough and it's just ultramarine violet and burnt umber yep so by the time it's dry if it's not enough dark enough then I can go over with another layer so I like to darken my glaze using layers instead of darkening uh, putting a dark color right away so you can see now this is not too dark but I will put another layer Okay, let it dry. I'm going to let it dry. Meanwhile, let's take some burnt umber. Naples yellow. I have some Naples yellow here, but I'll add some more. A little bit of yellow ochre, and I have white and titanium buff right there. This is for the rim. Also, I am going to hmm, maybe use a tiny bit with the burnt umber, a tiny bit of burnt sienna. Raw sienna, I think. Last week, right? Yeah. But I yeah. used burnt umber for the trim, didn't I? Yes. Yeah. 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 So I'm mixing burnt umber with a bit of burnt sienna. And I'm just going to go in and just kind of clean up. I did work on the, the cup a bit during the week to adjust it so I lost some of the darks in here yeah mixing a bit of uh, Burnt sienna with the burnt umber is a good idea.
and also I'm using kind of I'm using like a glaze it's not heavy paint I'm gonna make it thinner on this side okay right from outside now And we're going to, so, so where you see dark or shadow, the pattern that is running around the trim is darker. So here on this side, on the left side, where I, I am painting right now, it's darker. It's going to be darker than here, this side. Okay. Now I'm going to work on the rim a bit. So for the rim, I'm using yellow ochre and Naples yellow. It gives me this uh, very nice kind of gold color. I don't want to put too much. Let's bring in a little bit of the burnt sienna into this gold color because the rim is flat where I am putting the color. So I'm adding, it's looking flat right now. So I'm adding a little bit of that burnt sienna in there to, to uh, make it a bit more round, rounder in shape. Okay, that's, that's enough. We'll work on to see now the this part I was I glazed is dry. Ah, kind of. So I'm gonna glaze one more layer. And hopefully it will not lift. Hopefully it is dry. So I'm mixing both. More of the ultramarine. Less um, burnt umber. Yeah. The only way for me to see is to bring it here on the part of the 
palette where I can see the color. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit more of this water. Okay, good. Second layer. You don't want to press hard, don't press hard when you're on the on the the uh, brush when you're glazing because you don't want you don't want the color to lift. All right, we're gonna let it dry and see if we need another layer. I think we're okay. Now, now we can work on the rim of the saucer. And that will define it. Actually, I'm going to pause for a minute. All right, so I'm going to paint the, the edge of the... saucer with yellow ochre, a little bit of Naples yellow, and combination of burnt umber and burnt sienna. Not too much because we want to keep, we want to see this color. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is a layer of let me see if this color is right. Yeah, I guess. Darken it a bit when we get to the corner. Sorry, I have to turn it around just for a minute. Clean up. It's very really hard to work upside down. So let's do that. Trying to keep the um, edge soft right here, um, not a harsh line. So I'm wetting my paint with the brush and just kind of lifting some of the color on the edge. All right, that's good. Okay. So now I'm going to do 
what I'm going to do is take the dark color that we were using before, burnt sienna, burnt umber, put it in the um, yellow ochre in here, and then I'm going to come and do this now. I need to go darker here, so I'm using just burnt umber. It has a bit of, uh, also a little bit of uh, the uh, burnt sienna. All right, good. Now I'm going to take burnt umber, mixed with a little bit of burnt sienna, but more burnt umber than burnt sienna. Clean my brush. Come over here, give this this part here a little bit of a darker color. That's what I'm seeing. Again, all around actually, there's a little bit of a, a, a darker burnt umber in here. Okay. Again, I'm going to turn it around. Okay. Now, one more. One more thing we need to do. I need to take white. with a bit of titanium buff and change my brush into a smaller one there's a light coming from this side on the left hand side so the sun is hitting from the left hand side so what I'm going to do is give this plate Uh, 
a highlight on this side slowly all the way in the front I will have to turn it around, otherwise I can't do it. Now in here, I'm going to add a tiny bit of burnt amber with the, white, with the white because in here, although there's a highlight, but it's actually a muted highlight in here. All right. Oh, voila. Okay, so we finished the cup. Next week we'll work on the coffee inside the coffee cup and the spoon.